Hey folks, welcome back to another thrilling Ark Survival Ascended Adventure. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the need to know farming spots for three of the most important resources on the island. Metal, Pearls and Polymer. Let's start with Metal. With the release of ASA, one of the first questions to cross everyone's mind was where is the metal? Seeing as the devs redistributed almost all the metal spawns around the map, let's look at the new top metal farming locations. First off, we have the Volcano. On the top of the volcano is where the metal is most dense. You'll also notice that there's a fair amount of crystal and obsidian here as well. The rest of the metal is distributed pretty evenly around the volcano, down all sides, so farm it however you see fit. The next metal spawn is just across the way towards Kano Island. Now in my opinion, this is the best metal spawn on the new island map. Pretty much the entire top half of the mountain is covered in metal, again with the very very top being the most dense. Now on small tribe servers, this mountain can yield up to around 22,000 metal in one run. This combined with its close proximity to early game base locations makes it the most contested and sought after metal on most servers. Now this next spot is deep in the redwoods. Now while this spawn is not the greatest, there's still a notable amount of metal here. It is very scattered and nothing too impressive, but just because it does have that decent amount of metal, I decide to add to this list. Now this last spot is a little less known. It's a little mountain I found near the swamp and red obelisk. It has a semi-high concentration of metal, again being mostly spawning at the top. But if you search around the surrounding forests, you'll actually find a substantial amount. Next up, we'll look at pearl spawns. I've seen quite a few people struggling to find solid pearl spawns, so I hope this helps. On the new island map, the devs have basically made it so that pearls spawn pretty much everywhere underwater. I think it's worth noting that prior to getting an anglerfish, the best way to farm pearls effectively early game is by looting them from pearl caves. So the pearl caves got an update with the new game release and they look really nice and there's actually a really high amount of pearls in them. Although I would suggest taking a sickle with you because the pearls are often hidden under a lot of bushes. I swim around the whole map and mark the three densest spots to farm pearls. The first is just off the snow beach, opposite the snowy mountain. Now as always, with underwater expeditions in Ark, be careful, as there is quite a lot of aggressive creatures down there that would love to quickly kill your anglerfish. Next up, we have a similar spot just across the map, down the beach from Kano Island. This location is almost the exact same as the previous, with the same amount of pearls. Now lastly, in my opinion, the best spot to farm pearls on island is out front of Easy Underwater. Here is the highest concentration of pearls that I found on the map there being close to 20 to 30 individual spawns just outside the entrance and in the entrance itself. Now lastly, let's talk about polymer. Now most people probably know the best way to get polymer on the island is by killing penguins in the snow. This meta was set way back in the early days of Ark Survival Evolved and it still hasn't changed in Ark Survival Ascended. You can find these penguins on almost all icebergs in the snow, in the snow. but the three shown here are where they spawn the most. Now it's up to you how you want to farm these, whether it be with a moss chop or by hand with a club and a melee character. Either way, you're going to get a solid amount of polymer early game. Your best option for farming polymer late game is still going to be penguins, but you're most likely going to want to use an imprinted moss chops that has been leveled up in melee damage and then put its specific harvest points into organic polymer. And that's it. I hope this video helps some of you guys out. And as usual, if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you think I missed any spawns that you know about, leave it in the comments. Anyway, have a good day or night, and I'll see you in the next one.